Now see in this numerical the shear force diagram is given to you. Now from this shear force diagram we will find the loading of the beam and then the bending moment diagram. Now I will tell you the procedure how to find the loading diagram from the shear force diagram. Now it will be based on the basis of certain points. The first point is that load is generally calculated by finding the difference of shearing forces. Now, the difference of shear force if you consider from this point at point A what is the difference in shear force? So this is your 0 to plus 15. That is difference will be 0 minus 15. So that will come out to be minus 15 kilo Newton. If there is the negative force at any point that is taken as the reaction the positive force that is taken as the load. So at point A we are having the shear force increases from point 0 to 50. So at point A there will be a reaction 15 kilo Newton. So at point A we will say there will be a reaction 15 kilo Newton. Now see from point A to B there is a inclined shear force diagram. Now if there is an inclined line it will represent that there will be a UDL load from point A to B. So at point A to B there will be a UDL. And how much is the UDL? The change in the load from point A to B is here 15 minus 7 that is 8 and it act at a span of 2 meter. So you will say that the shearing force diagram changes from 15 to 7 and UDL will be change in load upon the span that is 8 by 2 4 kilo Newton meter. So from point A to B this will be 4 kilo Newton meter. So when we reach that point B there is sudden change in the shear force vertical line. So there has to be some a vertical force here. So it is changing from plus 7 to minus 4. So the change will be from plus 7 to minus 4. That is difference will be your plus 7 minus minus 4 that is 11 kilo Newton positive. So there has to be a point load acting at this B point that will be 11 kilo Newton. Again from point B to C there is an inclined line which means that from point B to C there will also be a UDL and that UDL will be how much? minus 4 to minus 16. So the difference will be how much? That is 16 minus minus 4 that is 12 kilo Newton and this is 12 kilo Newton at a span of 3 meter. So 12 upon 3 this will come out to be your 4 kilo Newton per meter and this will be value will be positive. Therefore we will see that your from point B to C again 4 kilo Newton per meter is the UDL from point B to C. Now when we reach point C we will see that at point C there is again a vertical line and that vertical line will be your represent that there has to be some load here. That load will be your vertical load. Now what is the difference from this point to this point that is minus 16 minus minus 4 that will be minus 20 and minus 20 mean there has to be a reaction because that is negative that is RC will be equal to 20 kilo Newton. Clear? Now from point C to D the line is horizontal which means that there will not be any load from point C to D because whenever the line is horizontal in case of shear force diagram there will not be any load.
so we reach point D so at point D it changes from 4 to 0 that is 4 minus 0 so there will be your vertical load of 4 kilo Newton positive mean vertical load downward 4 kilo Newton so this is your loading diagram now we will try to find the bending moment at various point if we consider the left hand side of the beam bending moment at point A will be by considering loading diagram bending moment at point A will be 0 bending moment at point B will be RB that is 15 into 2 this will be your clockwise positive and 4 into 2 meter into half that is 1 so the bending moment at point B will be equal to your 15 into 2 into minus 4 into 2 into 2 this comes out to be 22 kilo Newton meter so this is the bending moment at point B 22 kilo Newton meter if there is a UDL this will be inclined line and from point A to B this will be a curve line on bending moment diagram now we will consider the right hand side of the beam bending moment at point D will be 0 we will find bending moment at C bending moment at C will be 4 into this distance this is 2 meter 4 into 2 and direction will be your clockwise that is negative so bending moment at point C comes out to be your minus 8 kilo Newton by considering the right hand side of the beam these are your bending moment calculation at various points so minus 8 is the bending moment at point C 8 kilo Newton meter at point B line is horizontal there is no load and bending moment line will be inclined now from point C to B there is a UDL this is inclined so the bending moment line has to be cur curved line parabolic line so this is your positive this is your negative and this point E point this is said to be your point of contra flexion the point at which your bending moment changes its direction so this is the procedure to find the loading diagram if the shear force diagram is given to you and then we will also find the bending moment diagram